What's up guys? So I already did a video on this bad boy, the FMS LC80, uh, the FCX10, sorry, in case you can't tell it's 10 scale. Um, and so it comes brushed and I think it needs a little more power, just a little more oomph for certain things. Uh, I kind of talked about it in the video. So it turns out they do offer a brushless kit for it. So they have ESC, uh, oh, the motor's in there hiding in there somewhere. We'll open it up in a second. And then, but you do have to add a receiver um, because it has the two-in-one system in it. So you need, when you, if you change the motor or the ESC, or maybe if you change the ESC, you have to add a receiver to it. Um, so they do sell each of these things individual here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. So I think it'll smooth it out a little more. It's pretty smooth, but it could, when you're trying to get going, you need a little more oomph in it. Um, so let's bust out the motor here. So it is a cool little outrunner motor. So it's got a nice little uh, ends on it. And then let me try to see if I can grab the base here. The, yeah, so it's an outrunner here. Um, it's a fifteen hundred kV, I think. So it's thirty five forty one kV fifteen hundred. Um, I don't remember what it said on the label. So the label says one thing and this says another. So I'm going to double check that. So I'll put the exact information in the bottom here because the label says 3541 brushless motor, 1680 KV. And this, so I'm guessing the model is 3541. That's the same here. But then it says 1680 KV and this says 1500 KV. So I'll double check that and put that in the bottom. Um, and then I'll put links to all this stuff also. And then the receiver here, it's just uh, kind of plug and play the exact things you have in there. So you, know, you put the servo into the spots um, and the lights. So you run that to match up to the other little light controller there. And you'll be all good and then just you know, tape it into that same little area there. Should be a little bit of extra space, and then here's the ESC. Where's my knife at? So there we go. So it does have a switch still, which is nice. I know some ESCs aren't coming with switches anymore. Uh, the same XT60 plug, and it says two to three ES lipo, six volt, three amps, SL50. Um, FMS. So these don't have too much information on them, but I'm gonna check the site and I'll put all the information on the bottom, but um, all this will fit in there. So I'll be doing a little, uh, oh, I forgot these in the bottom. I'll do a little build, uh, time up to above, so you guys can see the whole build. Oh, it's already off, oh, already off this way. So yeah, so the motor, let me see it there. The motor will be a little shorter. So that's kind of cool. I'll give you a little more space, probably a little, way a little less maybe, I'm not sure. And then the ESC looks like it'll fit in that same spot where it originally was, but I moved mine to run a longer pack because I had a Gen Z spec I wanted to test. Um, so yeah, it fits either way. You can squish in that way. Or it looks like it could probably fit on the side beams. Kind of like how I have the original one here. So yeah, definitely cool little setup. Oh, and then you can probably run this uh, switch to the back here. I think there's a mount on that one, but I figured it all out. But yeah, I'll do a um, time lapse from above installing all this stuff and then do a little breakdown of the end and then we'll do some running footage uh, when I have it all going. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Alright guys, there's the updated goodies. So we have the uh, FMS brushless system in here. See it's Outrunner. And with the ESC, 
I have a Gen Z's battery pack and we're running the EcoPower WP200T servo in there. So let's go to the Explorer and see how this setup does. All right, so we're out here at the FMS LC80. I put the brushless system in and the power is super smooth. So let's make a dead stop. Nice little slow crawl. This is in the first gear. So everything else in this car is stock. And this is the uh, power plant and servo. Uh, suspension still stock. And uh, so are the wheels and tires. Oh, we got a little sitting water. We go explore here. Ooh, found some horse poop. with a little water here. So it's definitely nice and smooth. Uh, plenty more power to get over rocks before I had a little problem with that. It seemed like it wanted to get stuck. Like it didn't have any bump power. Got some good little power there. Definitely think it was a good improvement. Um, super smooth. Definitely a little more oomph power.
hung up on the rear bumper here. Oh, and now we tumbled over.